Hey, GIS enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for all things mapping, geospatial analysis, and GIS magic. In today's video, we are diving into Grass GIS, one of the most powerful open source GIS software out there. But don't worry if you are new to it, by end of this video, we promise you'll know exactly how to get started, navigate the interface, and of course, run your first spatial analysis like a pro. So if you're ready to unlock the full potential of Grass GIS, let's begin by going to the official website, which is going to be grass.osgeo.org. From here, there's multiple options on the top corner. You have the About section, Download, Learn, Support, and Contribute. You would notice that there's, there isn't like a prize or a login button for you to uh, click, all right? All I have to do is go to the Download section. Now, you can download your free and open source copy. You can choose from any of the following. Grass GIS source code, Grass GIS for Linux, Grass GIS for Windows, depending on your operating system. You can also have the Grass GIS for Mac, and of course, the Grass GIS for Docker, and Grass GIS for add ons, and Grass GIS sample data. In this case, since I am using Windows, I'm going to click the uh, Grass GIS for Windows, click on the download button. Now, from here, all I have to do is just install the Grass GIS and follow the on-screen instructions. And I'll get back to you once the application has been successfully installed. Now, once you have successfully installed the application, you will be forwarded to the program itself. Now, don't be confused if you have multiple options on the left side, which is really the most important thing here okay so we have by default it would give you the demo location and the permanent current view all i have to do is click on it there's gonna be a plus uh icon here if you double click on it and it would show you the country boundaries or the map itself right so now on the bottom part there are layers that you can um use for example if you want to add multiple raster or vector map add a raster map layer add the various raster map players so you can do that once you get a hold and familiarize yourself with the uh, program but for now we're gonna deal with this first once you double click the country boundaries all right so there are multiple options on the uh right side corner you can import and export link data for example if you want to import raster data uh, i'm gonna import some of common raster formats if you double click on it all right you see you can put in and uh the uh data by browsing if you have a file to import but if you don't just click on it i'm just giving you some options for you to explore and then it also applies if you wanted to import 3d raster data for example double click on it you would be forwarded to the same window all you have to do is click on browse and click the run so that you can import the uh, 3d raster data here on your map now the next thing that we need to do is now I'm going to show you some one of the important tools that you can use for Grass GIS. On the top corner, you have the uh, like a refresh button. Reload. And then there's the allow edits outside of the current map set. And there's the add existing or create a new database or create new project location or download, which is one of the key things that you need to explore. I want you to click on it. And what will happen is you can basically uh download the sample project to uh data here you can choose complete north carolina data set basic role data set now what i'm going to do is click the natural earth data set i want you to click on the download button so the uh downloading times may vary depending on your uh internet active connection make sure you are currently uh, look connected if you can't uh access grass gis you might need to use a vpn because obviously grass gis is imploring a thing called geo restriction on specific location or region so if you can't access this you can't download use a vpn now once it's downloaded click the uh, this small button all right so you have now the natural earth data set here. 
click the uh, plus button so you'll get more information about it if you click on for example we're gonna be um choosing the ocean so you have if you right click on it there is an option here to uh, switch from ocean click on switch but what happen is you see it will load another kind of interface for you to explore all right uh it you see that now you have the coastlines countries right here you have this kind of uh, uh render natural earth if you want you see that so if you hover on it using the mouse or the plus button on top it would be easy to navigate the uh location here that you are looking for you have an option from the 2d or 3d version depending on your preferences okay now since we have already a uh, created a 3d view wait for it takes a little time to load depending again on your computer's capacity if your computer is laggy you might want to try to uh we're gonna go to the 2d map now since i have that sorted out wait for it to render you can now add information here all right so for example if you want to queue queue raster you can put it here all right and then copy to clipboard so that's one way for it to explore and then on the uh, natural data set there's also a thing called you see if you click on the plus button if you wanted to just see the countries not in the natural earth you can do that click double click on it so that's the countries wherein you can of course use the navigation tool from here click on save and then there's on the uh, top right corner there's the file if you want to create your own workspace or save it as it is Ima image rendering and a lot more you have the settings raster and vector imagery all right 3d raster database temporal and of course if you wanted to uh create more pre um customization here on the grass gis so we're gonna go to the natural earth again now i'm gonna go to the ocean double click on it so i can see the ocean view and then there should be an option for you to see the layers you see you have the tools console history and python right so i want you to right click on it and click the display layer so we have uh, more control over what we feel and what we wanted to see here in the grass gis for the ocean view and then i want you to hover to the gear icon settings here just like the uh grass manual beside grass manual click on it there should be an option for you to check the uh ui settings for more interactive appearance all right and then go to map display the tools and the layers now you can use a uh, feature color for example not transparent let's say you're gonna use a yellow color click on okay and, and then the area fill color is gonna be something like a red so it's a lot easier to navigate and of course you can use for many of the following attributes protection and click save this for session only all right and basically that's the wrap of our beginner's guide to using grass gis I hope you found this tutorial helpful in getting started with the powerful open source GIS tool. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video.